And welcome back to a developing story. We now know the identity of the 10 year old boy police say was shot and killed by his own brother. The detectives say Dylan Houston was killed yesterday morning by his 14 year old brother. This is in Henderson. It happened near Sicily Hills Court and South Gibson. Neighbors we talked to say this incident is just too hard to believe. It's crazy. I mean, it's just you just don't expect it to happen in your neighborhood. Like you said, we were talked earlier and stuff. There's a very quiet neighborhood, so you don't expect anything like this to happen here. I can't even imagine what they're going through or what like I, I just can't. I, I can't because I like if that ever happened to me, I don't know what I would do. The 14 year old is facing an involuntary manslaughter charge. Henderson police say this is being investigated as the city's second homicide of the year. And in this case, it's bringing out a flood of emotions for another Valley mother. She lost her 13 year old daughter in a tragic shooting involving the girl's best friend. Reporter Alicia Patillo has that story. Glenn was an amazing child. She was the responsible child. She was my child who would walk past a sink of dirty dishes and wash them without having to ask questions. She wanted to always do right. She was um, my mini me. <laughs> she wanted to grow up to be like her mom. Her daughter, the precious person, Darshell Moeller says she fought hard to protect. I miss her every day. There are no words to really describe what it's like explaining how your child was in life. Um, because every day I, I try to go back in and I want all that back. Um, you want to erase, you want to fix. In the end, she couldn't save Brooklyn from what she didn't know. I'm going to live with this the rest of my life. I have, a, I, I feel responsible for her death every day. I did not ask the family if there were firearms available, if they could access a loaded gun. Why would I ask that? If you own a firearm, why wouldn't you lock it up? A bullet took their 13 year old daughter's life in 2013. And after almost a decade, the Mueller family remains haunted by how the shooting ever happened. We found out that uh, Brooklyn's best friend was able to obtain a firearm in a condition one state, was loaded, ready to go, in the top of a kitchen cabinet. Her friend pointed it at her, pulled the trigger at her back, and it ended her life. In the aftermath of Brooklyn's death, no one was charged. Brooklyn's shooter, her best friend, was only 14 years old. Why was a gun kept unsecured in a home around children? That question went unanswered. Still, Darshell turned her pain into purpose, fighting for Brooklyn as she always did, sharing their story through the Brooklyn May Moeller Foundation and demanding change to hold. Parents of child shooters responsible for gun violence in hopes of protecting other families from a similar tragedy. I can maybe prevent another family from feeling this every day, living through this, going through this journey every day on something that is so preventable. This is too preventable. This is not an accident. These are not accidents. These are preventable. This is senseless and this is preventable and we are losing children unnecessarily over some object that is designed to kill that can be locked up and that can be disarmed and children don't have to die. Still, the news of yet another act of gun violence involving children left Darshell with this message to the Houston family. I'm so sorry for this family and I want to wrap my arms around the mother because I know the trajectory I, I know that acuteness, I know what they're going to go through. Alicia Patillo reporting. Now back in 2019, the Nevada legislature passed the Child Access Prevention Law, or CAP. That law makes it illegal for any adult to negligently store or leave a firearm where a child can gain access to it.